so if you guys have clicked on the video I trust you have a general idea of what we're about to talk about here reference frame rate performance and guys I'm just gonna say right here do not focus on your FPS counter guys do not if you're flying in VR especially Microsoft Flight Sim and other sims as well do not get hung up on the performance the frame rate the counter uh, just try to find a smooth experience. Listen, that's it. Now I've told you everything. You can click away from the video, and, and I pretty much told you everything. I want you guys to enjoy your flights in VR, guys. And one of the biggest things that, you know, happens to simmers is we really start chasing that performance. We start trying to figure out, okay, what's the next tweak? What's the next thing I got to do to really just give me that next level performance? You know, you have myself, you have Steve, you have everybody. Oh, check that out. How cool was that? That was kind of instant um you have everybody trying to share the best tips and tricks and i'm not saying do not look at that and do not learn but what i'm saying is once you've adjusted some of your settings once you've done some of these things in the sim really enjoy the sim try to go for a flight try to do this because the alternative is i sit here and i exit the sim and i'm like you know what if i'm counting the fps counter i promise you I would sit here switching it up trying to figure out what to do to give myself a better gameplay and the truth is this right here if you guys see this this is absolutely amazing now if you're wondering what aircraft I'm flying it's the uh, AS350 right it's the A star which I think it's been renamed to the AS350 it's by Eurocopter guys it's a freeware aircraft running with airland FS and it's amazing in our uh, local livery from our law, inform law enforcement. This is Metro Police uh, 6. Uh, in fact, I was talking to uh, Metro Police 7 earlier. Well, sort of not really, but yeah, I normally talk to these helicopters. If you don't know, by the way, I'm an air traffic controller over there at Miami International Airport. That's where that plane is landing, runway 30. So I'm a huge VR flight sim nerd, if you can't tell. Anyways, guys. We're on our way to Tamiami KTMB, and listen, I just want to share with you, when you're enjoying the sim, you know, the worst thing you could do is really get hung up on the performance, on the fact whether or not you're getting, you know, uh, 30 FPS, 40 FPS, 45 FPS. Um, really, you don't want to fly with 20 FPS, right? That's really rough. But a lot of people, I think, are able to hit around that 30 FPS mark, uh, frame rates per second. And it's not all about the frame rates, right? Let's let's understand. There's also a, a big deal that has to do with the latency. You know, you want to have a lower latency, you know, and it's a challenge when you're playing this sim because it's really complex. And let me tell you what, it's not an issue here in 2D. When we're flying in 2D, guys, it's... You know, I have a laptop with an RTX 2060 that runs this just fine without any issues. But the moment, the moment I try to turn on a VR, I'm going to see an impact, and you are too. You know, in fact, I do not recommend any laptops for VR, really, unless you're going to shell out, you know, three to $4,000. I just, well, VR with Microsoft Flight Sim. If you have a laptop with an RTX 2060, it's going to run really, really good. It's going to be really enjoyable. But yeah, guys, just listen. I'm telling you, uh, you, we have a lot of group members asking, and I understand. Everyone's trying to figure out that next big thing that's going to give them that FPS boost. Uh, and I want you guys to uh, listen to the people that are doing the tutorials. In fact, um, before I started this flight... I actually started running the NIS scaler and I set it up to 80% uh, and I think uh, NIS scaler down to 80%. I'll show the settings here on the screen. And here's the Biltmore at Miami, by the way, with 20% uh, sharpening and it just smoothed out my RTX 3090. So guys, I have an RTX 3090 with a 12900K and I'm telling you what, I'm not getting insane FPS in any title, really. I mean. The two biggest ones that are heavy hitters for me, Microsoft Flight Sim and uh, DCS. You know, so these two sims are absolute beasts. So just don't think that you're going to get like this magical 45 FPS or you have people saying, well, listen, you know what? When I play in VR, I need to have this high frame rate. I'm going to tell you a couple things. Try Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, try to get it to at least 30 FPS and again you're gonna watch it right because you're gonna look at it at least to have an idea because what's gonna happen is this you're gonna be playing and you might be getting sick you're like yo I don't like this I'm actually getting kind of sick every single time I, I start playing so when you look at the frame rate you're gonna have an idea of what it is but what I'm telling you is this do not 
chase FPS. And by the way, guys, we are here cruising off our left. That's Dadeland at Miami. We have the uh, Palmetto right here to my right. Tropical Park over here to my 3 o'clock. And this is absolutely amazing. So <laughs> I absolutely love the fact that I can do this. And this is such a realistic flight. It really is, you know, for these helicopters. Well, except departing X-ray 44 and coming over to Tamiami. But um, this is just absolutely amazing. Like, do you guys not see this? I trust you do. If not, if you're just listening to the video, you might not see this, but look at these clouds. So, guys, I mean, really, I, I think I'm going to put together a video. And if, if you guys have any suggestions on things that have helped you, leave them in the comments below. You know, let me know. Let the other people know. Because, really, I, I already have a bunch of suggestions and a bunch of tips that I'm going to put together in one video coming up. Um, but this one is more of a rant. I just wanted to go for a quick flight today. Uh, something simple where I didn't have to edit and do a bunch of crazy things and just kind of, you know, bring you guys along. This is, I mean, this is just a dream right here. This, this helicopter is amazing. I think this is Kendall Drive to my right. Is there a Dunkin' Donuts right there? Yes, that is Dunkin' Donuts. That is Kendall Drive. Is that funny? I could spot Dunkin' Donuts from up here. Now, this helicopter, it is freeware. It's work in progress. So definitely check it out. And this is Miami-Dade. Is it Miami-Dade? Yeah, this is Miami-Dade College to my right. Tamiami Airport at my one o'clock here. So we're going to, I believe these helicopters, when they uh, arrive and depart Tamiami, they normally enter right in between the parallels, eastbound, and let me just check my altimeter. Gotta watch out for 5G, guys. 5G. <laughs> if you're a pilot, if you're in aviation, you know 5G, right? Watch out with 5G in your altimeters. All right, so we're gonna arrive here at Tamiami. And listen, I'll give you a couple tips right now. Number one, remove Microsoft uh, Flight Sim 2020 from Windows Defender. Add it to the exclusion list. That way he doesn't scan it. Turn off Windows Defender while you're running the game. Um, if you're running GeForce Experience, turn off GeForce Experience. Uh, that way you still get the benefits of having the NVIDIA drivers, but you're not sitting here running GeForce Experience. And again, I'll probably have a video detailing all those things, but uh, the fourth thing is NIS Scaler. Really, I mean, I'm telling you guys, those things I feel like have helped me a lot. And the latest NVIDIA drivers, which I'll throw on the screen as well, have been really, really good. So consider those things at an op as an option. Again, if you guys, uh, whether you're running, you know, a Pimax, a uh, Reaver, Binoculus, uh, do me a favor, just leave some comments below for other people. And I'm going to put together a video with your tips, with your information. And we are arriving over here. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have that video coming up soon, just really trying to tie in some things together that I think help you guys out. And, oh, this is beautiful. So, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue is here. I think Metro Police is to the other side, but we're going to park over here with them. Um, we're going to just act like this is where our helicopter goes. This is just so cool. And I'm telling you guys, Freeway Helicopter with Airland FS, definitely check it out. It's quite simple. You just need the helicopter, the Airland FS software. You drag the uh, helicopter profile into the Airland FS folder. Start your sim. And then when you start your sim, then you hit fly. After that, you run Airland FS, which is what's doing all the math for the helicopter flight dynamics. And although they're not perfect, I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun. And honestly, I couldn't have done this flight without it. I mean, it just made this just an amazing experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed my rant. Uh, leave me a thumbs up. Give me some feedback in the bottom there in the comments. And uh, check out the other videos. And if you want to know more about the HP Reverb G2V2, check it right here, guys. It's an amazing headset. I really recommend it. And I have a full review talking about the latest updates that came out to it. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Be well.